And our next guest also seeing an influx of AI pitches on the startup side. Adrian Mendoza is the founder and general partner of Mendoza Ventures. They're an early and growth stage venture fund with a heavy focus on AI. Adrian, welcome. Have you always had this focus? Yeah, we actually started investing in AI in late 2015, 2016. And funny enough, this is the second time we've seen this AI hype cycle hmm. because we've seen trends happen in VC. They die out. And really what's happened is with the kind of the lessening of excitement in Web3 and crypto, a lot of those dollars and attention have now gone back to AI, yes. which is really yes. exciting to see this cycle happen again. And probably healthier, maybe from a societal point of view, except that we just spoke with the CEO of Tenable last hour who warned that maybe we let the cat out of the bag a little too quickly here. I mean, are you worried about there, maybe there should have been a few more usage guardrails in place? Um, before we kind of just unleash the open AI experiment on the world? Well, part of the, the issue with AI is that it's, it's all really about data and it's garbage in produces garbage out. Right. In our view as an investor, we really believe data is the new currency, but it's really, you have to take a step back and invest around when you hear the startup pitches about AI, it's really looking at if you have good data to start with, then you're going to be able to have incredible results because in you know data in the past is reporting data in the present is analytics being able to predict data in the future that's where the ai predictions are going to happen and so we're still really kind of worried about where these good data sets and training data sets are going to happen and you know the nice thing of what we're seeing with generative ai like chat is the excitement from the general public finally seeing what the power of it can do. So I heard a couple of phrases there that make my antenna go up. One was we're at sort of hype cycle 2.0 on AI. I believe that that's my paraphrase of what you said. And then you said garbage in, garbage out. So my antenna go up and I think, so how do I know? How do you know as an investor which ones are real and which ones of the deals you look at and hear about are purely hype? How do you tell the difference? Which ones are garbage? You know, which ones are good? I, I love watching, you know, uh, interviews. There was in 2019, there was a TechCrunch interview with the CEO of uh, OpenAI, where when he asked his question about revenue models, his response was he was going to ask the AI to what profitable AI mo you know, model would create <laughs> revenue for him. Um, and really, that's what we're seeing. You know, you, you called it completely right. This is AI hype cycle 2.0. And a lot of the investors that have learned from the first 1.0 have realized that the majority of these cycles really have not still been able to find really good references to how are AI companies going to make money? How are they going to be profitable? And there are companies out there, you know, one of our companies, Fiverity and Praxi Data and Senso out of Canada, where they're looking for data insight but using data that exists from so, customers. So what's the, the what's the telltale for you? Fiverity, I see you're, you're sporting one of their hoodies there or quarter zips or whatever. But but how how what is the the pinpoint that tells you this is one that really has a solution to a revenue issue to a revenue to the revenue nut? Or this one does not. What do you what are the, what is the telltale? Well, it all comes back to where are their data sources. You know, every AI company to be successful needs training data. 